Good morning, everyone. Um, I wanted to talk about the Scalar Rider G4 power set um, that I got yesterday. I've had a look on uh, uh, the internet for videos, done a lot of research into which intercom to buy for myself and my pillion before we go on a tour um, of Northern Europe in a couple of months' time. Um, and I decided to buy the Scalar Rider G4. Um, I purchased them on eBay um, a new. Um, for a really good price, uh, two hundred and thirty-four pounds, I managed to get them for in the end, which was uh, fantastic. A uh, really good discount. But on all the videos I looked at, they were all kind of professional, and um, I wanted to give a user's point of view um, and my experience so far. Well, here it is. This is the uh, Scalar Rider G4 uh, power set uh, box. The box um, that sounds silly is uh, is well made which gives you some real confidence about the product that's inside that if they've thought about the detail on there. Um, in the box, um, which is here, uh, you will find the uh, two Bluetooth units, one up here and one down here. Um, <clears throat> and then inside, you find everything you need to mount to the, uh, to the helmet. My only observation so far is with this one, um, it only came with a European um, style um, adapter, no UK. Um, that could have been where I've where I've bought it from, really. Um, but the cable that it charges um, via is a USB, so I simply charged it on my computer, um, or I'll just use a, a European to UK adapter to, to use the mains chargers. But they charged in about four hours, or just under three and a half hours, um, first charge, which was really good. All the lights went out in the box then you've, you've got different ways of mounting it they mount your helmet with allen keys um, and like a clamp um, we're really really easy and fitted on two different helmets which i'll show you in a minute you also get um, in there a headphone jack to headphone jack um, socket to connect wired devices like mp3 players that aren't bluetooth to the scalar rider um, which is good. Other ways you can actually glue the headset to the helmet, so it's a one-shot deal there. Um, so not ideal for me. I would rather have something I can remove. Um, I fitted them to the helmet in in sort of less than less than five minutes a set, which means that uh, if I go out with my friends, um, I'm not going touring. Then it would be easy for me to fit these to their helmet, so we could all have a good um, chat. I've got two helmets here. I've got a Shark S600, uh, this one with the uh, unit fitted and um, connected. And I've also got um, an Arai Astro J. Um, I've also got an Arai Viper GT, which I haven't fitted it to yet. I've just gone with these two. Um, okay, the actual uh, unit itself, the base plate clips onto the helmet um, with a clamp. Push it between the shell and the lining. And then you tuck the boom mic underneath and into the, into the helmet. The unit itself then uh, sits on on the helmet, um, and it just it simply really really easily slides on to there. Several buttons on the um, on the unit. Um, you've basically got volume on the top and and mobile phone button. And then you've got different functionalities, MP3, FM radio, and also um, when you connect into other other headsets. Um, there's a little flip-up antenna in there as well, which you can deploy to get the maximum maximum range, a little sprung load um, and antenna. I haven't taken them out on the road yet. Um, I've simply fit them and I've done some testing um, in and around the house. I've walked a good distance apart and you can hear each other really well. FM radio works really well. Um, I've paired it to my mobile phone, which is an iPhone 3GS, um, which is what I'm filming this on at the moment. Um, and what I was really impressed with, um, with the iPhone uh, particularly, and I think this is probably the same for all of the smartphones, is uh, once it was paired um, from the, um, the uh, Bluetooth headset from this part, you can control the tracks using the two buttons on the left and the right you see on top there. Control the tracks on your iPod. You can make phone calls and use the uh, 3GS's um, voice calling, which is really good. Um, 
And also I run TomTom Western Europe um, on their sat-nav on the iPhone. Uh, and again, that was fantastic because then when it spoke an instruction, like you've reached your destination or turn left, the music dimmed um, and then it gave you instruction and the music came back again, up again, which was uh, which was fantastic. Uh, really, really good. So I've been really impressed with the features. The other thing that's quite impressive was uh, was in the box. Obviously, you get your normal guarantee information. You get the book. Um, the book is is nicely um, illustrated um, and quite well written. You're probably going to have to spend a little bit of time having a look at it to understand all of the functions that you can do um, on this to get the most out of it. Um, but I had a good read last night um, and I think I've got most of it. So I'm ready to go out for a ride um, today. And once I have, I shall let you know and give you an update on exactly what my performance is. So uh, this is so far my Scalar Rider G4 experience.